the 11th of March, 1985, westbound local freight number 72 is arriving in Mount Vernon, Illinois. This is the St. Louis line of the old Southern Railway, so these locomotives are right at home. With a GP38-2 leading a GP30, this train belongs to Norfolk Southern Corporation. Norfolk Southern Corporation was formed in 1982 as a holding company controlling both the Southern and Norfolk and Western Railways. By 1985, locomotives of both railroads were beginning to be repainted into a common Norfolk Southern paint scheme. Actual ownership of locomotives was identified by reporting marks under the locomotive numbers on the cab sides. The operations of both systems were combined and the merger was completed when the Southern Railway was renamed Norfolk Southern on December 31, 1990. Control of the N&W was transferred to the new Norfolk Southern at that time. This was still in the future in the mid-80s, however. While power in the new scheme was becoming more prevalent, locomotives still wearing the paint of the old roads were still abundant. East of Mount Vernon is a grade near the tiny hamlet of Marlow. Eastbound number 291 is seen on the hill. An SD40-2 leads an SD45 and a C30-7 on number 111 at Marlow. <coughs> West of Hoffman, we catch up with number 292. State Route number 161 offers a great opportunity to pace trains between Hoffman and Bartelso. It's the morning of July 5th, 1986, and we're pacing Amtrak's River Cities between Hoffman and Bartelso. Trains 358 and 359 connected with the city of New Orleans, leaving Illinois Central Rails at Centralia. At St. Louis, the train's single coach was coupled to one of the trains to Kansas City. This train was replaced by a bus connection in 1994 when the city of New Orleans was converted from heritage equipment to superliners. 